the Lord reveals something to the major prophet of God and this revelation and what God has revealed to me when the month uh, the, uh, on, on the Wednesday the Lord showed me a super revelation and this revelation was such a revelation that was so 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 so, so. it was so 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 touching and so 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 mind touching when I look at the revelation and what God showed to me it was a thing of joy that the people of God should get ready for their joy. People of God should get ready to dance. People of God should get ready to rejoice. People of God should get ready because the heaven is going to open and there will be the reign of favor, the reign of blessing, and the reign of abundance. The reign of total turnaround. The reign that God will use to end all manipulations and also make things of joy to be permanent in your life in the name of Jesus Christ. So we continue to pray. We continue to trust God. We will never be tired in prayer because the more we pray, the more heaven is open. The more we pray, the more God answers our prayer. The more we pray, God is busy at work doing something for you and I. So it is well with you for connecting with me this evening. My prayer for you is that every single thing that you present to your heart, even as this program going on, everything that you present in your heart, God has already answered them and a potential for you. Everything that you carry in your mind, whatever it is in your mind, God has answered you and God has bring a turnaround for you in the name of Jesus. And that is why we will never stop to praise him. We will never stop from prophesying what he tells the major prophet of God. Because there's no time that God will not speak to major prophet of God to prophesy to the universe. God will always speak to the major prophet of God. And as touching things of life, as touching things in the spirit, as touching things both in the government and every area of life. And so we continue to serve him, to follow him, to have faith, to receive the grace. Because the grace of God is impactable. The grace of God is transferable. The grace of God is giveable. Somebody was talking to me and he said, Major prophet of God, I love the way God is using you. All your sons and your daughters in the Lord, they are moving with super grace. And I said, yes. What's the reason? Sons and daughters that have seen the grace of God upon the major prophet and they submit to the ministry of the major prophet and they say, man of God, be my father in the Lord. Man of God, back me up. Man of God, stand for me in the spirit. Man of God, I need your prophetic grace. I need your prophetic backup. I need your prophetic stuff. Full time support. And the God of all possibility who has chosen to make me the major prophet of God. Not by contention. Not by, by human election. Not by voting. But by spiritual choosing. God has chosen me spiritually. And has given me the prophetic grace. And I said to them, I said, receive the grace. Receive the power. Receive the anointing. Whatever you ask of the Lord. Whatever you pray for. Whatever you touch. Whatever you declare. Whatever you decree. The Lord will begin to make them happen. And the speed is uncomparable. Because uh, it is not something man-made. Anything that is man-made will fade away. Anything that is human-made will fade away. But whatever is spiritual remains spiritual. Because uh, the spiritual control the physical no matter how tough the physical will be when the spiritual interferes the physical will turn around and that is why all of you that are watching me wherever you're watching watching me from whatever it may be the need or desire of your heart or expectation i am standing in agreement of prayer with you prophetic agreement prayer that god has answered your prayer this month of november that is about to go will not go with your life november will not go with your family november will not go with your business november will not go with your destiny november will not take your health away 
November will not take your property away. As November is going, is going with all difficulty. Whatever door you have been knocking and refused to open, November is going for those doors to open. Whatever contract you have been chasing and you were praying to God to open the door for you and they are not forthcoming. By this November that is going, the Lord is already taking away every stumbling block out of your way. The Lord is taking away every hindrance out of your way. The Lord is making a way for you where there is no way. The Lord is opening your life spiritually and physically. The Lord is impacting you. The Lord is releasing upon you. Now. As you are saying amen to the prayer, is working for your spirit, is working for your soul, and is working for your body. Because everything about the spirit is the prophetic word. And when the prophetic word comes, is a means of heavenly expression. Prophetic words are means of heavenly expression. Express in your life that as this November is rounding up, is rounding up with all your barriers, all your hindrances, all your setback, all your difficulties, all the things that the enemy have been using against you, November is folding them away. And the new month of December that we come, we come with actualization, we come with manifestation, we come with release, we come with turnaround, we come with spiritual visitation, we come with super visitation, super turnaround, everything will turn around in your favor. Everything will walk in your favor. Evil. Everything will be to the glory of God. Everything will be a thing of laughter, a thing of smile, a thing of joy. Everything will be as the Lord has said it will be. All over the world, the Spirit of God is moving. The Spirit is moving all over the world to make sure that that will of God concerning your life, concerning your destiny, concerning your ministry, concerning your career, concerning everything that you have laid your hand to do or the areas that the Lord has called you and you have been fighting and struggling to succeed there and the enemy have been fighting you or one way or the other trying to hinder you or deprive you in the prophetic grace that God is releasing today I decree that your life receive grace let your life receive grace let your life receive grace let your life receive grace the grace that is uncomparable the grace that can never be disgraced the grace that can never be limited the grace that is beyond human comprehension let the Lord release that grace upon your life. Receive the grace right now. Receive the grace of God that passes all understanding. Receive the grace of God that passes all understanding. Receive the grace of God that bringeth a total turnaround. Receive the grace of God that bringeth joy. Receive the grace of God that bringeth happiness. Receive the grace of God that bringeth joy. Receive the grace upon your life, upon your family, upon your destiny, upon your career. Let the grace of God abound for you in the name of Jesus. It is well with you. It is well with your spirit. It is well with your soul. And it is well with your body. Major prophet of God in this season of impactable grace. Prophetic grace for all possibility. I am praying a very serious and dangerous prayer on your behalf. That the heaven will never give up. Heaven will never rest. Heaven will never stop until God has made you a praise. God has made you happy. God has made you rejoice. God has made you to dance. God has given it to you what seems impossible with men. And the Bible says, with men it is impossible, but with God all things are possible. With God all things are possible. So let everything be possible for you. Let everything begin to walk in your favor. Let everything begin to walk in the place of work. Let everything walk in the place of your business. Let everything begin to walk in your body. Let everything walk in your health. Let everything walk in everything that pertains to your life. Let everything work for you. Let everything continually to work for you. For God is on the throne opening the door and releasing to you all that you are praying for and give it to you all the expectation before the year runs out. Every single thing that you are expecting from the Lord before the year runs out. God is releasing them to you. They become your portion. They become your portion. They enter into your hands. And no man can take it away from you in the name of Jesus. You are highly blessed. You are highly favored. You are highly blessed and chosen by the Lord to remain favored all the days of your life. I remain your prophet, prophet, Dr. David King Leo Yeah, I did my, 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 I did my
What do you want to do? 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 What do